This is our video number four on uh, direct material procurement cycle in SAP. And uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the logistic invoice. We need to post the logistic invoice against the purchase order. So we're going to record this logistic invoice with the transaction code, which is Miro, or we're going to use the SAP menu part. So when we are going to book this or record this logistic invoice when we receive uh, the invoice from the supplier when we receive the goods the same day obviously we are receiving the invoice so we're gonna post this logistic invoice so when we need to post this logistic invoice we need to enter the document date we need to enter the posting date and the PO number so when we copy the uh, purchase order reference number it will automatically copy the entire purchase order in our purchase invoice, in our logistic invoice. So how to record this logistic invoice in SAP now? We need to go in logistics. In, in logistics, we have materials management. In materials management, we have logistics invoice verification. In logistic invoice verification, we have document entry. In document entry, we have first option, which is Miro, M-I-R-O, so double click, and this logistic invoice, this will open. So when we double click the Miro, this window will open. So I'm gonna hide this view structure here. So first we are going to enter the invoice date. So let's suppose that is on 5th of January, 2020. You can enter any reference number that is a posting date tab you need to check this option calculate tax and you need to select the text type uh, which is b1 into text at the rate five percent here you can write the description purchase of raw material and then we need to select the purchase order so this is our purchase order so you need to select open it select the vendor press enter so our vendor is samsung motor llc and then execute so when we execute this it will give us the list of our purchase order for this supplier so against this supplier we have right now only one purchase order which is 17250 if you drop down this here it will show that in this purchase order we we ordered two items so you need to select this and click on this copy so it will copy the purchase uh, this purchasing document this purchase order so click it and then press enter so when we press enter it will copy the entire purchase order in our this incoming invoice in our logistic invoice so we order a uh, plastic sheet that is the quantity is 1000 and the aluminum sheet is 500. So this is our basic data. You can move to the next tab which is the payment tab. In the payment tab you will see uh, the uh, you will see the, the baseline date, the due date of this invoice. You can see the terms and condition and this invoice is due us on 5th January 2020. You can click on this detailed also. You can mention the header also. That is optional right now. Then we have this text category. Oh, sorry, this is our the text. So against this invoice, we are paying thirteen thousand seven fifty text. Uh, that is our input text at the rate five percent. So that is these are the tabs, and uh, we need to balance this incoming invoice, this logistic invoice. So in the amount, I'm going to enter 288750 and then press enter. So when we press enter, it changes, uh, it turns from red to green. Equation is balanced. Now we need to save this logistic invoice. So before saving, I want to see the overview of this purchase invoice. So click on this simulate. So when we click on this simulate, this document overview, it will come. So this is how our uh, incoming invoice look like 
that we have this Samsung motors that could receive invoice receive is there then could receive invoice receive this account is there and then input tax account is also there because we order two items here now so this is how we are going to cook our logistic invoice uh, in SAP and if you see this in the simulate it will give us the overview of uh, our logistic invoice and here it shows that we need to pay Samsung Motors the total purchase is 288,000 uh, that is a total payable amount and uh, the good receive uh, invoice receive third party that is twice because we order two items and then we have the input text also which is 13,750 so if you want to post this one we need to click this option to post and when you post this one it will give us the message uh, it will generate two documents one is material document and the other one is accounting document so this is our document number generated this is our material document in the next step if you want to see the list of all that invoices which you enter so you need to go in logistic invoice verification in logistic invoice verification we have further processing in further processing we have this MIR4 which is to display your invoice document number and that is to cancel invoice release block invoices I want to see the list of all that invoices which I enter so which is MIR5 so double click here that is the company code and then execute so when you execute it will give us the list of all that invoices which you enter so right now we have only two invoices so I'm gonna check this invoice uh, that is 8892 so open it or you can click this follow on documents also so this is our invoice this is our material document number so you can click on this follow on documents to see see the accounting document so this is our accounting document which is 51001 so this is how you can display your accounting document in in SAP and uh, you can click this option this is the entry view you can also see the same document in the journal ledger view also so you can click this journal ledger view and it will show us the journal ledger view of your accounting document in SAP you can go one step back cancel it so it will generate two document uh, one is the material document and other one is the accounting document this is our material document uh, uh, this is our material document number and if you click on this follow on documents it will show us the accounting document which is 51001 so if you double click it will open uh, the data uh, uh, the entry view of uh, this accounting document you can also click this journal ledger view to view this accounting document in journal ledger view and if you want to see the purchase order history you can go back you can go in the purchase order in the purchasing In purchasing we have purchase order in purchase order you can use this me23n or you can go into this list display and here you can see here we have this me2n which is by view number so double click so here you can enter you can select your purchasing document number Going to enter the purchasing organization press enter and here we can see our purchasing document execute so this is our purchasing document by document number so you can click this and click on this PO history so it will open the PO history of this purchase order so that is WE this is our material document that is the good receipt 
the total good receipt for this aluminium sheet uh, that, for the plastic sheet that is 1000 and uh, that is the total invoice that is also 1000 with the delivery charges 25 dirham you can go back or you can double click this that uh, the PO document number also so it will open this purchase order you can click on this purchase order history and here it will show us the entire purchase order history that these are our material document and uh, that is our good receipt document and this is our invoice document so this is how you can check your reports related with the uh, purchase order history in SAP.